Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, the start of this work week has featured mainly dry weather across the area. However, we are tracking a few rain chances in the days ahead, the first of which is going to arrive tomorrow as a cold front does come down from the north and west. Now, that said, don't cancel any outdoor plans. Uh, models have kind of been flip-flopping on what may happen tomorrow, but as it stands right now, uh, any showers and storms do look to be very isolated in nature. That said, our best chance for showers and storms likely to come uh, sometime late Thursday night and into the day on Friday with another front approaching uh, from the north and west. Temperature-wise, we're going to be seasonable, mainly hanging out into the low and mid-80s. And overall, that humidity will be generally low. Uh, the exception mainly going to come on Friday where we'll have dew points into the low and mid-60s. Looking at visible imagery this afternoon, it's beautiful out there. We have plenty of sunshine, a bed of cumulus clouds that have developed as a result of daytime heating. And temperatures this afternoon have warmed nicely into the 80s. We're now at 81 right now in Chippewa Falls, 85 in Chatech, 80 at this hour in Lady Smith. We're at 84 degrees in Rice Lake, 83 uh, down in Menominee, same case here in Eau Claire, as well as into Augusta, even traveling down along I-94 to Black River Falls. We're also at 83 degrees, 86 now in Burns, 81 in Viroqua, 85 degrees, the current temperature in La Crosse. Now, as far as those dew points, it feels very comfortable out there statewide. We've got those anywhere from the upper 40s into the 50s. And like I said, overall in the next couple days, it shouldn't be too bad. Tomorrow, I do have us in the noticeable category, and that's when dew points get into the low and mid 60s. The main reason is I do think at some point dew points may reach right up to around that 60 degree mark as we will have some moisture pooling just out ahead of that cold front that is going to slide through. But we quickly drop back down into the comfy category on Thursday. And then by Friday, like I said, we'll likely have dew points into the low and mid 60s. So that humidity going to become noticeable once again. Just off to our west and southwest, we do have this weak area of high pressure. There's our next cold front to the north and west. You can already see some showers and storms that have developed out ahead of that boundary across northern Minnesota. That front will be slowly tracking our way here for the next 24 hours. But going into tonight, expect dry weather for any of those outdoor plans. We'll have a mostly clear sky. And then for tomorrow, we'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine. Again, that chance of a couple spotty showers and storms. Models have kind of been back and forth on the coverage of these. But just look at the most recent guidance this afternoon. It looks pretty spotty overall. We'll see how that pans out. But just know that there is that possibility of some showers and storms. Meanwhile, tomorrow night we start to dry out once again and heading into Thursday, a dry day overall that is going to come with plenty of sunshine as an area of high pressure does move to our north. So for tonight, we'll see low temperatures anywhere from the upper 50s to around 60, a mostly clear sky. Tomorrow, we are back near average into the low 80s. Sun and clouds, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Meanwhile, on Thursday, a high temperature up around 80. And then we'll see the next front heading our way Thursday night into Friday. That'll bring our next chances for some rain before quiet weather does look to generally return into the weekend in those temperatures near average. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty consistent there it looks like. Yeah, not too much to complain about. And like I said, really outside of Friday, humidity mm -hmm. going to remain low. So nice weather ahead. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Derek. Yep. We have movie and streaming news.